Hey guys, it's Chuck the Centering Gamer, back with another movie pickup video. Uh, basically, this is going to be the first part out of two. Um, I got I picked up a lot of shit. Uh, um, but anyways, this uh, vid video here, part one, is pretty much going to be stuff that I uh, picked up really cheap from like thrift stores, um, uh, garage sales, and pawn shops. Um, and it's not going to really have any horror in it just because I'm saving that for part two. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, let's get, get into it, I guess. Uh, first, uh, I picked up is something, uh, I've been made fun of for enjoying and, uh, wanting, but, um, I picked up Pumping Iron, you know, with Arnold Schwarzenegger awesome little documentary um i've been lifting weights um not for the past two weeks <laughs> but i've been lifting weights off and on for about 15 years now so um arnold obviously is an inspiration um for for m most people so uh that want to get into fitness or body build b building but this uh movie here it's really cool man um, and it's not out on Blu-ray, so I figured that I would pick up the um, DVD then. And for some reason, it's been going up in um, price, which is kind of annoying, because I used to, to um, see it for like a, two bucks, three bucks. I had to pay about ten bucks for it now, so. But then, ooh, this was actually really cool. Um, I was at Goodwill, and I found a couple, um... Uh, well, a, a a bunch of like older films on DVD for a buck piece. One being The Odd Couple Two. Classic. It's a classic. Uh, this one's still sealed still, but it's Midnight Run. I've been really trying to beef up on my like classic comedy stuff. So, uh, <laughs> Shelley Long and Bette Midler in Outrageous Fortune. This one was actually really cool. I haven't seen this since I was a kid, and I loved watching this growing up. And that is Hello Again. Fucking awesome. Uh, for a, a, a while, though, I got that kind of con fused with, um, uh, what is the one with, um, I think it's Meryl Streep, maybe, I don't know. I know Bruce Willis is in it, like, I don't think it's High Spirits, but... Anyways, no, that's the uh, Gene Wilder film, I, th I think. But anyways, um, oh, Death be, be, be Comes Her. I always confuse that one for this one. But no, this one here, I used to watch all the fucking time. It's awesome. Um, the first odd couple. The front page, which I've actually never seen this, but it has Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau in it. Um, the Odd Couple. So I'm very curious uh, about it. So it, it, it was really cool, man. A buck a piece, you know? Um, oh, also, picked up True Lies. It is a sin, or should be a sin, that this is not out on Blu ray yet. Like, really? But turns out uh, this and the abyss are on James Cam Cameron's two two of them two of two of them do list when he isn't um, exploring the oceans or working on his a a a Avatar films. Oh, this I found for five bucks at Goodwill, and it's beat up, but it is the complete series of Dead Like Like Me. Um, it's beat up, but you know what? Five bucks? Hell yeah. It's like a $60 box set, I think. So, also picked up for Buck. Doc Hollywood. Cool ass film. This movie I love. It's a Bill Murray film. Um, it's actually uh, Wes An An Anderson as the uh, dir director, but I freaking loved it, and that is. Rushmore. So, haven't seen that in years. Cannot wait to give that an, uh, 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 another watch. And also a sealed copy of Steven Seagal and 
Hard to Kill, which is actually my favorite Steven Seagal film. Um, yeah, he's pretty goofy, but his, his older films were pretty awesome. And I've, and I've been building on my um, 80s and 90s action films, you know. Um, then, found the sealed. I I actually bought it new, um, I think like three months ago. Then I found one sealed at Goodwill and I had to buy it. And that is Summer Rental. And then, support your local gunfighter. Not bad. James Garner, yeah. Also, this one, I have never seen, hear a lot of good things uh, about it. And I know that, like, older, older films aren't really most people's cup of tea. But, Arsenic and Old Lace with Cary Grant. So, pretty excited about trying out this one. I used to watch a lot of older movies with my grandma, so um, it looks familiar, but I'm, but, I'm, but I'm not sure. So, I'll know once I watch it. This I found at Goodwill, and it's funny because my roommate, the She-Nerd, um, has been looking for it, and she finally ended up getting her own copy. However, the day hers showed up, I found this at Goodwill for five bucks, and that is the complete Pink Panther collection. So this is awesome, man. I love this, and I know that it's out on Blu-ray. Actually, I think it's going out of, out of print soon from from Shout Fa Fa Factory. But this is the DVD set, and I, I just love this packaging. And I had this back in the day, lost it, have it again, and it's basically, basically brand new. For four, five, five bucks, five oh nine. Look at that. Hopefully, I didn't wash out the actual shot. <laughs> um, then, ooh, some uh, dollar store finds. The Ace Ventura collection. Until I get it, get it on Blu-ray, I can still watch it now. So, at uh, Disc Trade Traders for one buck. DeAndre the 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 giant DVD. I love my old school wrestling. Um, found this at Goodwill back in June. Actually, it's been a while, and that is duets. Awesome movie, guilty pleasure, man. Plus, it has Huey Lewis in it, so fuck yeah. <laughs> then an an another dollar store find was. The Chuck Norris Total Action Pack uh, has Lone Wolf McQuaid, Missing in Action, Code of Silence, and Delta Force. To be honest though, I've got Missing in Action like four times over now, uh, but the other ones I still needed and it was a buck, so fuck it, brand new, you know? So, and then, let's see, found a double pack of Loose Cannons and Another You. And I've seen Loose uh, Cannons, loved it uh, way back then, but I don't know shit about it now. And Another You has Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. Those guys together, it's comedy gold, man. So, had to grab that. Also found this at Goodwill for a buck. Love this movie, man. I saw it in the fucking theater. I, I was probably 13 I think maybe 14 um, and it was a uh, toss-up between uh, I want I want to say Waterworld maybe I don't know but anyways um, <laughs> Chu Wong Fu <laughs> so love this fucking movie man Patrick Swayze wet wet Wes, Wesley Snipes and John Lit Lit Guzamo in drag it's fucking hilarious so, and when I was younger, I didn't realize who Julie New 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 Newmar was. Uh, but growing up, my one of my biggest crushes was the original Cat wo 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 Woman. So, when I got older, I put two and two together. So, all right, what else? What else? I'm getting close to the Blu-rays, but I got a few more DVDs. So. Um, picked up the out of print Star Wars the Clone Wars cartoon. It's the actual 
animated one and not the computer animated one. Um, there's this is volume one. I need volume two still, but these are out of print, and they're probably never gonna gonna get put back in 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 print because it is not canon now. Uh, this cartoon came out before the um, uh, popular C uh, C. GI film uh, uh, show, and honestly, I like this. It's from the um, the um, dude who who did um what was it uh Samurai Jack, so yeah, pretty fucking awesome. Uh, in eighties staple being can't buy me love. Um, another one that I want is um uh, what is it Lover Boy, so but yeah, uh, awesome eighties st staple. Cannot wait to open that motherfucker up and watch um i love my samurai films and the original films were awesome but this one was pretty fucking awesome too and that is zatoichi and this has uh takeshi kitano in, in in it so this is fucking awesome uh you might know him from uh brother sonatine uh which actually this actually comes with son 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 sonatine um, he was in Battle Royale, um, there's other things I'm sure I just can't think of it because it's 3am right now. So, but yeah, fucking awesome movie. Love this movie. Uh, all of his movies are freaking amazing. So, um, picked up the Magnificent Seven Collection, uh, from the dollar store for a buck. Pretty fucking awesome. And then, picked up... The Eddie Murphy sets, uh, Raw and Delirious. Which one do I like better? Love Delirious, man. I, I watch these, um, I've had them, uh, legally backed up, uh, for years, and I've, and I literally, literally watch them probably once every month, sometimes twice. Uh, when I'm in an upset mood, put in, I put in one of these, and I'm just, I am cool then, you know? So, these are amazing classic comedy uh, shows. If you ever get a chance, watch them. So, found this for two bucks at, well, sorry, 209 at Good Goodwill. This is the Christmas Classics Collection. Classics. Um, let, let's see, you got Frosty, you got Rudolph, you got Santa Claus is coming to town, but also featuring four more movies you have the little drummer boy cricket on the hearth i've never heard of that one mr mr magoo's christmas carol and frosty returns um sounds like an awesome horror movie name frosty returns although they did do jack frost and the sequels to that so that's pretty fucking dope too so but uh pretty sure those aren't the same as these all right next um i was at a garage sale got this and it's damaged whatever but for two bucks, I got the complete Freaks and Geeks on DVD. So, pretty fucking awesome. Uh, these I got at Goodwill for a buck a piece. Um, one, one being No Doubt, um, Rock City Live. Not a fan of Gwen, um, but being in my teens in the 90s I listened to a lot of no of no 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 doubt you know so I saw this for a buck had to get it this movie I watched a lot as a kid it, it was always on cable man um, but I liked it a lot and that was defending your life uh, cool thing man guy 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 dies goes to pur purgatory and has to Defend his life in court, whether um, he goes to heaven, hell, or gets he says set, 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 second chance. But yeah, pretty awesome movie. Uh, picked up Star Trek First First Contact, my favorite Star 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 Trek film of all time. It's actually made more like a like a uh, horror film. And the Borg are fucking terrifying. Um, found a Criterion Collection DVD at Goodwill for a buck, and that is Night Night on Earth. Never seen it, don't know anything about it, but it's a Criterion Collection DVD. 
I'll give it a try. And if it sucks, I'll just give it away. Um, in a time when superhero movies are everywhere, this movie came out in, um, I think like 2010, 2011, maybe? Um, but anyways, this movie is fucking awesome, and what's really cool about it is it's, it's, it's actually the first film or a prequel or what, whatever you would, you would call it to a horror film, and that is Super awesome it's funny it's sad it's action-packed it's gory as hell honestly it's kind of a real a, a realistic take if people tried to be superhero heroes so it's pretty fucking awesome but fun little little fact there's an easter egg in another in another movie that includes this guy here and that movie is brightburn so this is in like in in the same universe as Brightburn, so fucking cool, man. And then an '80s staple of action movies, um, even if it is cheesy, but it's also out of out of, out of print as far as as I can tell. And I fucking love this movie. That is Iron Eagle. So found this for a buck, man. I was so excited, and I don't think it's out on Blu-ray either. So, all right, on to the Blu-rays. For a dollar at the dollar store, I found Frank. I fucking adore this movie, man. Michael Fassbender is awesome in it, uh, and the music is awesome. So, it's freaking awesome. And my girlfriend Liz introduced me to it. I bought a bootleg um, of a TV show that we'll probably never see on DVD because of the original... Uh, negatives being destroyed in a fire, but um, I'm a big Nickelodeon fan, especially 90s era, and I found a bootleg. Granted, the pictures showed it all nice and like professionally cut, and no, nah, the actual packaging sucks, but the quality is pretty decent, and that is Nickelodeon Salute Your Shorts. So, love the show growing up, man. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I remember ditching school so that I could catch re 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 runs of it. So, not the most responsible thing, but still, it was it's a, it's an awesome show. Um, for Bucket Goodwill, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, what else can I can I say? It's a fucking classic, dude. Uh, picked this up, haven't opened it, but I've watched it a million times uh, prior, and that is Clue. Love it. I mean, once again, what else can I say about it? Everybody knows it. It's an awesome movie. And then if you don't, watch it. This was a surprise. I found this at uh, Good, sorry, Salvation Army for $2, and that was the complete first season of Agent Carter. Um underrated show man i was really shocked when they canceled it but um as far as i can tell the blu-ray sets were exclusive to amazon um somebody had it there you know so i was like fuck it mine now this i've wanted for a while um damn <laughs> this one i i wanted for a while and i finally got it and that is the mel brooks collection um, I've been holding off on buying any movie uh, of his because I knew that I wanted this, this, this set. Um, I kept on putting it off and putting it off. I, I even passed up on a um, steelbook of Young Frankenstein. But it actually paid off because I got this on eBay, cheap as hell. I got it for $30. $30. Um, there were people for a while selling it for like 60 bucks, 70 bucks, 90 bucks. Um, yeah, not a, not a bad price. And then finally, I got these on clearance. Actually, correction, I, I, I got two of these on clearance, and the, and the other one I hunted down on eBay, which was actually Sleeping Beauty. Um, but I only paid, paid like 12 bucks brand new for it. So sealed, you know? Um, it's the Target exclusive version, but it's uh, the Blu-ray, DVD, and the digital code, and Anniversary Edition. 
I love my old school Disney stuff, man. And Sleeping Beauty is my second favorite Disney film of all time. Maleficent's dope. But these two, I got on clearance for. One was, I think, 10 bucks. The other one, one was like $7.50. Uh, this one here was 10 bucks, and that is Avengers Endgame. It's the um, Target exclusive for 4K. Um, dude. I can't pass that up. Come on. So, yeah. Freaking awesome. I don't have many Marvel films. I love them, but at the same time... <sighs> they're up to, what, 23 films? It's a lot of movies to buy. And I don't know if I really want all those movies, you know? Um, but I'm a completionist when it comes to that type of shit, so... <sighs> That's a whole can of worms. But anyways, the other one, which was... Like I said, I, I think seven fifty or, or something. Yeah. Anyways, um, Aladdin in four in four K. So I walked into Target, so I was like, "Yoink, mine." So yeah, Aladdin. That's pretty dope. That one's probably my fourth favorite Disney film or fifth favorite Disney film. So could not pass up that. Although I hear a lot of people complain about the color correction. Um. I've seen comp comparison shots. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But then again, you know, there are people where that is their, like, favorite film. So it does ma matter to them. I mean, if they took, you know, The Thing or Big Trouble in, in, in a Little China and changed some, like, coloring on them and stuff, I'd be pretty upset, too. So, but anyways, guys, that is all that I have uh, for part one of my movies and blu-rays and dvd pickups uh part two should be out maybe in the maybe in the neck ne ne next week um and that'll have all my horror and like cult favorites and stuff so and some of the like higher end companies um yeah anyways thank you guys for watching and you guys have an awesome night i'm gonna go to bed